and welcome to Geeked Play Studio Tutorials. In this tutorial, we're going to create a scenery. We'll work with the world machine to create terrains and texturing kind of maps for the materials. We'll work in a view to render. Next, we'll process this uh, image in the um, Photomatic Pro. So we'll bring more details and see how it can bring with the lights or a sun go directly up front of the camera and post process with Photoshop. So let's go ahead and start work on our project. Let's start working. First, what we're going to do, it's creating our terrain and I'm going to use the world machine. This is standard edition. You can do same and basic with low resolution or with uh, professional editions, just take a little bit faster render than mine. So first, what I'm going to do, it is set up some terrains and we'll go ahead and open advanced fractal okay right here i want to take and just reduce a little bit scale so maybe you know going to about 640 you can see we have nice points kind of going okay let's go to um maybe just slightly increase step them a little bit more pointy okay just right here uh, we'll leave it everything as default so just check everything okay let's go ahead click OK this is will be our base the one thing what I want to do um, I want to actually kind of smooth edges right here around and we're going to do this with uh, adding additional mask so for this one let's go to um, generator and I'm going to use it radial grid go open this and right here we'll go to use it square okay we can just slightly reduce so you can preview we have okay let me rotate right here you see this little bit side border kind of it's what we needed okay and let's go to next filter take a blur and blur connect right here and now in the blur we can soft out till this one almost meet the edge so you can see now we have a nice edge going on and we can actually blur even more I'm even like this so now what happened when we add this one to mask look on our purlin now we have it nicely on the middle and kind of decreasing on the side kind of almost like heel we created and with the square so it's apply nicely to reducing on this case when we start overlap them in our future project these parts will overlap nicely that you don't have this sharp kind of cutting off on the end so maybe I need to add a little bit more on a blur so let's go lock this preview okay I'm going right here and we'll just, just slightly increasing oh, the radius decrease actually so maybe right this area okay we can go in the blur and add a little bit more so in this case we have it nicer on the edge so they won't when we start working with this piece of tiles inside the view these tiles won't necessarily touch each other okay here's a this is one way to do it um, we can look in other tutorials and other ways when we can go inside layout and just predefine blocks there but um, so let's do this way so right here let me unlock this view we kind of prepare the next I want to actually make it sharper kind of peaky things going and for that we'll go to use curves so I'll go select the curves connecting and inside curves what do we need to do we need to create like contrast like almost going so I'm going from this point and start drawing my curve all the way up smooth it more okay and look right here what do we have just sliding a bit so we have a nice curve going it's kind of almost pokey stuff so after this we can go inside 
probably blur. Okay, so let me go lock on this one. And right here we can readjust even more if we wanted positioning. And bring closer. It's kind of a little bit even more readjust. Uh, look nicely. Okay, after this is complete, what I want to do, I want to connect this to my erosion right here. Can you go preview, so we have it. I want to add some erosion effect to this, and I want them stronger so I can use the materials. And this is maybe a little bit too high, so let's go back to our Perlin mode and just the sharpness down, bring all elevation a little bit up, like maybe around this area. Okay, we can unlock this preview inside here and channel, so we'll add carry amount a little bit more. Okay, we bring just and rock hardness will have a little bit deeper on those channels creating so let's go preview render to this node right here you can see we have a nice effect in some cases if you do with the basic you cannot adjust this but because i'm with standard so i'll pop up a little bit higher so i can preview um details a little bit more Okay, take a second till it's render. And right here I can preview so it's look about right. The next I want to do, I actually want to add a snow effect to this. Not because I'm going to use snow, but I want to use it some of those maps to assign materials. So we have a little bit more interesting materials going around. For this one, I'm going to generate um, natural filters go select snow add it right here and we'll just connect this to high field okay as well from snow i want to create additional output so i'm going to converters actually not let's we need to use macro and we'll just use a basic coverage macro okay go right here select high output to high and we'll say mask to the mask okay and we're going to notice right here this is bitmap output so when you select output we need to select bitmap output and we'll just connect them like this okay on this before I even modify snow on base coverage you can see we have a different colors so first I'm going to select white this one will go probably black. I just want to select a little bit contrast on this. And um, this one, however, will be probably about 30% gray. Okay, and let's set white. And just overall, this is our map about origin is white. And remember, where the colors will create it, you can test around this map, see which one is work better for you. Okay, now inside the snow, let's do, um, you can preview and first actually let me do this way. I want to lock this one. And we can adjust, you can see intensity of the snow when it's snow grow or decrease. So I probably just leave it at maybe about 43. The line when it's paper, this one, you know, maybe leave it less than original. Okay, snow amount. I want to bring a little bit more on the details. And this have very nice details, no line default. And how say with this one, you can kind of play around, see what map you want to produce. Mostly, I will use this. Um, to create 
some probably layout on the not snow but some other materials from top because combinations this map and other maps they will produce awesome result we're almost ready next what we need to do is a specify where do we want to save so i'll go and call this um snow map even it's not snow so i can remember okay and i just will save world machine snow so right here okay let me verify it so it's all set same place okay so that all maps are safe um next things i want to do actually i want to increase my resolution 2049 you can have say have it higher or other resolution and now i'm going to render i'm pausing tutorial right now and come back when it's done rendering so right here our build is finished this took only about two and a half minutes so let's go ahead click ok and now so we can go now inside the view and start working there. 